Greetings, Internet. This is BJ Black, and welcome to part one of my of my walkthrough of the demo of part three of Momo's Quest Paradox RPG. Boy, the intro to my videos is getting long, isn't it? Now, in this video, we're going to go to the Shrine of the Godbird. Should be around here somewhere. There it is. So we've gathered the orb and we've taken care of the disorder in the ley lines. So finally we've got our preparations in order for the resurrection of the godbird. But... Something seems wrong here. It's off. It's like the energy of the earth isn't gathering here. Wait, we're failing again? We even went so far as to head to the snow continent for all this. What are we going to have to do now? Anyway, let's go investigate the altar. Yep. In the vicinity of the altar, there are scattered about fragments of a giant eggshell. This eggshell, could it be that the godbird has already been born. What? Didn't we need to do some kind of resurrection ritual or something? Just going and resurrecting on its own. How impatient of it. Well, with the incident on the snow continent, the ley lines, the flow of the ley lines, we're all backed up. So, it was with all that great energy built up. When we solved the incident, the backed up energy just flowed out like this and ended up in this egg. So, without waiting for us to arrive, the Godbird re resurrected itself. Probably that's what happened. So, where is our resurrected godbird? It looks like he flew off somewhere. Mephisto, can you get the godbird's current whereabouts? Understood. I'll give it a shot. With such great energy as the godbird holds, the magic search should be pretty easy. I've detected the Godbird's magic in a region to the southeast of here, probably at the top of Amos Mountain. It was probably drawn there by the holy energy that that mountain gives off. Alright, let's go to the holy mountain Amos. Jeez, they're making us go through the trouble for it. Holy Mountain Almas is to the northwest of Luddite Village. Come on, let's go. I understand. We're going to defeat the Godbird. We're not going to defeat her. You don't understand at all. Well, even though we've gone all through all this trouble, Godbird resurrects on its own, and now we have to go track it down. So we headed for the Holy Mountain Almas. There it is. At the summit, I definitely feel the presence of the Godbird. No mistake, it's here. Well, if we can get close and get her, her to uh, accept us, that'd be good. So, let's go. All right. Wow. She's big. 
and nesting at the summit, a giant bird monster. No mistake, this is the resurrected Godbird. Godbird, it is we who set the stage for your resurrection. In other words, we are your owners. Do you understand? So the Godbird violently starts flapping its wings. It looks like we uh, injured her mood. She doesn't understand at all. Well, it looks like she's pretty prideful. It, she didn't like being treated as a pet. She's really angry. Look out, she's attacking. Huh. You're going to disobey, are you? Alright, we'll make you obey by force. In the end, we are going to defeat her. Hill there wasn't mistaken. Uh, yeah. Quee! Q -q -q. Can't be helped. Let's go. Your journey, you guys, it just doesn't go well at all, does it? It's hard to think of how it's going to be going further on. Well, this should be enough. Do you understand who you need to obey now? The Godbird has accepted Luca and the gang as her masters, let's say. Yeah, it looks like she's taking a shining to us. Hey, hey, let's pick out a name for her. How about Kueko? Your naming sense is simply horrible. You should pick a cute name, like Nuruko has here. Cute! I gave Nuruko her name too. What? Really? Mm, I'm gonna just explain Kueko is kinda like... If the sound she's making is cluck, we're calling her clucky. Anyway, ignoring that. Because she's the Garuda, how about we call her Galda? Alright, let's make it Galda. Kwe! Kwe! Getting a name, she seems fully satisfied. So then, let's ride her right away. When we're on her back, we can fly the skies. How exciting! Alright, let's go. Quay. So, now we can ride Garuda. Oh well, Galda. And the size of our party has increased by two. We can now hold a total of 14 members in a single party. Whoa, we're flying, we're flying. Of course we are. This is the god bird after all. With this we can fly over peaks and not valleys, and we can go anywhere. Now, I can fly on my own power, but doing this is actually kind of fun. So then, we can go to the Helgon Continent where the Maul Castle awaits us, but we did receive those requests from Tamamo. And aside from Tamamo's requests, is there any remaining duties? Before we re march on the Maol Castle, we should do everything we should, everything we can. And here again, Promostino will remind us of Lacroix's notes. Okay. So there's these drones we need to crawl as requested by Tamamo. 
And there are other remaining things that we should do so we don't feel like there's stuff we've left behind. At the Mao Castle, there are going to be great plans set in motion. So, we all of us rated ourselves for it. And before that, we do need to do the things we can. So our next destination is going to be... I think we're good for this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.